But no, I can give you the rundown on it. Please, please. We have two models for this. We have a 3 8 and a half inch. Our 3 8 will do 10 to 100 foot pounds. Our half will do 12 and a half up to 150 foot pounds. Within our tool here, we have our menu. We can go on here and save up to 15 different modes. So say we know what we have to be at for the day. We can set it in foot pounds, inch pounds. We have metric settings on here as well too. And then we can set our range. So in this case, I have this set to 50 foot pounds with a plus minus of 5%. I'm gonna show you a quick demo here. So as I'm securing, I can utilize the ratchet feature to get this down. After that, I'm pushing on my tool to tighten by hand until I'm in spec. If I over torque, oh. I go to Reddit it says, hey, we're past that threshold, we need to redo this. After that, I can hit my save button and log all of those for the day. So if that case, I need to pull a spec sheet to say, hey, what is this panel torqued out? I can generate that report through the one key app. That's awesome. So on the tool here too, you can view your history so you can see all the recent ones you did and what you were at. It shows it so you can see, hey, this was off, this was over, this was on spec. We can separate it by grouping. So say we have different panels, we know we have to separate them. We have that option as well too. In terms of calibration, this has to get recalibrated every year or after 5,000 fastens. Now, how do you, what's the process look like for that? So the process for that is we have our facility in Mississippi. You can send this online through our Milwaukee e-service. Um, it's about a seven to 10 day turnaround. Um, we cover the shipping fee for it, but the recalibration fee is $100. That's it? Yep. $100 for the recalibration $100 fee? The recalibration fee. You can check on your recalibration status in the about part of the menu under certification. It'll show you when it was certified and how many you have on that count. In this case, this one is out of calibration, but um, we'll update that once you get that research. Now, I, I got I to gotta ask this question because yeah. it's going to come up from my viewers. Yeah. You know mechanics are also looking at this thing saying, wait a minute, why are the electricians getting all the fun here and all the love? Yeah. I think, honestly, we've seen a big push in renewable, in solar, um, and in data centers, and this is a hot item for a lot, for that industry in particular. I think automotive is, is in the primary, secondary area, too. But we've seen a big drop, a big push with these in those specific areas of your renewable energy. Well, I appreciate you talking yeah, with me, Troy. Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. I'm going to keep looking at your booth. You guys did not spare a cent for this booth. It's so big. It is incredible. It, I think it's bigger than DeWalt. Shh, don't tell them. And everybody else. I mean, <laughs> yep. this is impressive. Again, thank you very much, Troy. Absolutely. Appreciate you stopping by.